Oh, where is that? Oh my God, you guys just don't want to let me live. I get it, I get it. You want to know who's going to be on the next episode? It's Patron Collins. Yes, and I will talk about the meals and the exercise, but you guys already got a long day ahead of you, so get ready. It's going to be hosted by Camis, Selena, and Audrey. You already know how it goes down because we're always up to it. Exactly, if you caught that. And I'm Nick Nick Paddywhack. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out while you guys tune in. Welcome everybody to Bikini Body Conscious Living. I'm Audrey, here today with Selena and Yay. Tony, and I am with Patron Collins. He is, well today, at the Art of Rap Festival in California, yes, but he's really speaking for the youth of America. This guy is a boxer. Yes. In Vegas, mostly. Yes. And clearly very fit. So mm -hmm. we wanna know some of your secrets. Uh, well, first off, as far as growing up, uh, my mom always incorporated good eating habits. Um, we never really ate big, large amounts of food. Mm -hmm. It was always like turkey, chicken, so poultry, really, and, um, and, and, and lean fish, you know. So um, I incorporated that as I'm older. Uh, I eat lots of vegetables and salmon, particularly as my meat, so. And spend a little bit of time yes. at the gym. Oh, most definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You got to hit the gym. You can't, you got to eat right and work out right. So I do both of those, do a lot of running and um, and do a lot of ab work as well. So Now, when you're on the road, because you have been, I mean, you really grew up yes. in this industry and mm -hmm. traveling all the time. Yes. And how has that been for you with eating right and working out when you're on the road all the time? Well, that, that is really hard because, you know, when you're on, tour and different things like that. I mean, you got wide selections of food. I mean, you got the cakes and the, you know, the junk food and everything. But right. You got to stay determined, you know, and, and stick to what you do and what you eat. So that's where I separate myself from, you know, being a part of the music tour because mm -hmm. I know, hey, I'm a boxer, so I have yeah, to eat right like a gravy. and train right. So as that gets um, brown with that sausage and onion mixture, then I will add um, some milk mm -hmm. and let that thicken with that mm -hmm. and my seasonings that I use salt pepper paprika garlic the usual that you find in um, uh, uh, biscuits and gravy in the gravy okay. sauce but today I'm putting a little Selena twist to this and Let's I know you were what asking got. what I had in my hand <laughs> it's parsley flakes this adds great color to this but adds a great flavor as well mm -hmm. that people that. are always wondering what's what is that flavor and I can't mm. quite pick it up and mm. it's just parsley but you'll love it so we'll throw that in there and Basically, what you do is you just layer it. So your biscuits, put some sausage and gravy right on top of that, and mm -hmm. you fry up some eggs, place that on top, and you're good to go, ready to serve dinner or breakfast. Now, what if somebody doesn't like fried eggs? What if they like their eggs differently? Is it okay to switch it up and, oh, yeah. and do something However else? However you like your eggs, whether they're over easy, whether they are fried, whether they are scrambled, doesn't and matter. What if, you, what if you don't eat eggs at all? Um, is there something else that you can put on, or is it okay to have it just without the eggs, biscuits and gravy? Have it just biscuits and gravy. You don't need the eggs. That's that just for hearty. extra protein, and, and um, it, you don't need it at all. Well, I can't wait to try it. We're gonna take a short break, and when we come back, biscuits and gravy. Yes. We'll see you in a minute. Stability ball and do this exercise. I'm telling you, three to four weeks, you will be a new woman. And this won't hurt you guys out there either, because we all know that lower ab area is a tough one for all of us. So I am going to get down on the ground, and feel free to join me, even if you don't have a stability ball, you can just do the exercise without it. So we wanna lay down and grip the ball with our feet, and we're gonna lift it up, bring it as far up as you can, and grab it with your hands, and we bring that ball back and bring our feet down at the same time, lift back up and switch. Now remember, watch closely, because you do not want your feet to hit the ground. Those abs have to work the whole time. Do as many of these as you can. I don't even put a number on these. Just keep going until it burns. One other thing I like to do with this, hold the ball out, keep your feet flexed, legs tight, really squeeze those quads, and reach for the ball. Works your abs a little bit differently, another great way to tighten those muscles. And then we can go right back and pass the ball through again. There we go. Okay, we are gonna have that bikini body in no time. A phenomenal full abdominal wall. I have a feeling you're gonna tell workout. me something that I don't want to hear because I'm spending money. So okay, 
You ready? Well, I'm ready for you to tell me that the money that I'm spending is going to pay <laughs> off. That's what I'm ready for. It always pays off because no matter what, it benefits our kids. I'm glad you guys are sitting down because the rookies oh. don't even get 40000 for oh the season. Oh, my gosh. And the top players are making just over 100000 That's crazy. For the wow. season. So, uh, That's crazy. For the season. 100000 versus... 30 million. million. Okay, well, it gets better. And even better. cutting it in half, 15 million? It gets I, better. I'm, okay. That's, that's we're, ridiculous. We're going to use your example of Kobe. Okay. Okay. Now, in like 2014, Kobe made about $30 million for the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. The WNBA has just over 400 players. Okay. The total salary for everybody combined. Okay. 10 million. So Kobe <laughs> wow. could pay this every ridiculous. player in the WNBA for like three seasons. How okay, is that so, even possible? Wow. So listen, so Ooh. you can do all that work and then still be a waitress and make more money. Yes. Than you could. Yeah. From what so you're saying, saying, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because I know waitresses that make $75,000 a year. Seriously. With tips and everything. So you could oh, be more than a that. waitress makes more than a WNBA more than that. player. Mm -hmm. How insulting. Really, people? Come on. You know, we need to do something about this. A lot of the teams are actually owned by NBA owners. And the, the issue, and let's talk about this for a second. Are you going out and buying a Lisa Leslie jersey, or are you buying Michael Jordan? For me, I'd buy Lisa Leslie. If I had a son or somebody like that, I'd probably do Michael Jordan. But I would do Lisa Leslie. I would. If you were at the store and you're like, hey, you know what? I want to go buy a basketball jersey. Yeah, I, I, that's, I would yeah. buy Lisa Leslie. I okay. would. Well, think well, about it. When you go to the store and you're buying a jersey, I'm sure the whole store is plastered <laughs> with Michael Jordan. Right.